What's happening? How's everybody doing out there? Can you hear me? Check, check, one, two, check, one, two. Can you hear me? All right. It's been a long time. It's seen you fellas. Got some crazy stuff going on here. Listen, if y'all chime in, um, if you can hear me and I sound okay and all that, let me know. Make sure you write over here who you are, where you're from, and what's going on. All right, I'm out here in the hallway, but I'm going to step on into my office. Let's see if I can do this here pretty smoothly. Y'all ready? Bam, just like that. What's happening out there, little top nation? Oh, little top army? All right, James Wise, how you doing, buddy? Good comms? Man, it's good to talk to y'all. It's been, it's been a while, been a while. I got some weird stuff coming on here as far as the speed of my connection, so I hope it's all right. Yeah, doing pretty good. Can you not hear me because you're at the bar? Or can you not hear me because I'm not sending any audio over? James says I sound pretty good, so I'm going with that. All right. Anyway, good to see y'all. Um, a lot of things have been going on. Haven't been able to get on there and do them lives in the mornings anymore. So I kind of hate not being able to run into y'all. All right, what's up, Todd? What's up, Brady? All right, I think we're doing okay. And y'all said my combo's good. Other than Soriano here, you can hear me, right? I'm assuming you can. All righty. Anyway, we got a lot to catch up on. Okay, good deal, good deal, good deal. We got Cam on it, James, all right. Good deal, folks. All right, well, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing all right. Um, everything's going on pretty well here with me. You notice I ain't been able to do my live shows much in the mornings anymore. It's because I got in trouble. Somebody ratted me out like a little bitch got me in trouble for doing that in the morning. So I'm not going to be able to do the morning shows unless I go to a whole different location, which I may start doing. All right, Soriano, take care, buddy. Um, so I may still be doing the morning, but quite honestly, there ain't a whole lot of people except all my partners over in Spain, Germany, and Australia. So I'll do one every now and then to make sure they get in the mix. They always chime, up, chime in and uh, saying they're doing pretty good. Now listen, hey, if you, if you see me, make sure you share this so we can get this combo check out to everybody. Anyway, so what's been going on? I know that I have not been doing a whole lot of different videos here lately. Well, other than getting in trouble, one of the reasons is I'm trying to rip all these off and get this comic book out. Because if I get the comic book out, then I can go on the road and I can start taking a little top experience other places. Trying to set up some plans now to head down to Mississippi and see some of my partners head off when they're going overseas. So it's going to be a new thing we're going to be working on. Um, I know I owe some people some stickers. I apologize to my boys in Iraq. There's a couple of y'all. I owe you some stickers. I recognize it. Um, who else we got over there? Oh, some of my buddies down in Louisiana, some stickers. So I know I've been dropping the ball. It's been a crazy couple weeks. But I appreciate y'all chiming in tonight. So let's get that conversation going. What's going on with y'all? Look at old Zane Desertel. My man. He's being my unit down at Charlie Company. What's up, Desertel? How's, how's all them boys doing down there in Louisiana? My man Smitty. Smitty and I spent a lot of time in the mortal platoon together. Y'all got any topics of conversation? I'm up to just sit here and just bullshit with y'all for a while. Got a good mean today. Maybe doing some work for the Veterans Affairs. And I don't mean the VA that's always trying to run you around. I mean the, the VA advocacy group. The one here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Might be able to do some cool stuff with them. It won't be me myself because I kind of got a bad lip on me. And uh, sometimes I say some bad words. But I'm going to get some of my other friends that are trying to help them out. So there's a lot of veterans out there don't even know, you know, what's available to them. So some of y'all that are still in the military now, listen to me, boys. <laughs> I'll put together a video on things you need to know for once you get out. Because you can ask Sergeant Hutchinson there. Here comes a play later on. I know all y'all feel all invincible like Desert Tail there. What's up, Steve Smith down at Fort Polk? Ladies and gentlemen, David Limebach. Boy, this is an all-star cast on here tonight. It's good seeing everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Somebody said he got a cool website for them Charlie. It's called hangfire.com. I'll go check it out. Sergeant Ganey's on here. Sergeant Ganey down in Georgia. Ganey, you living in Georgia or you in Florida? I saw you pop in at like a Tallahassee gym. Oh, that's a good idea, Wise. I should do a safety brief on eating Tide Pods other than thinning out the... You know, the Nimrod Joes you got, which may not be a bad thing, 
But how, how can you honestly recognize that eating a Tide Pod would be a good idea? Need, what up, Limey? Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> AMU's trying to steal your soul at Fort Hood. Don't let them steal your soul. VA don't cover any type of compensation for your stole, soul being stolen. About got my soul stolen from a little girl down in Panama. Me and Limey dodged that bullet. I should tell y'all a story about Limebach when he tried to fly over the fence. What's the name of that place? Corzo? David Gillies, what's up, buddy? Man, we got a lot of people chiming in on here. Good night, good night. What's up, Holly? Over in Nashville. Hey, a lot of my friends were over in Nashville this last weekend. Some of my old friends at WSOC TV were over there for the Emmy Awards. <laughs> Larry knows what I'm talking about. So let's give me a topic. What's, what's going on with you all? You all set the stage for this meet, and I got all the time in the world. Corazal, Jerry Corazal. Back in the day, we used to have to walk up to this building, go up to like to the third floor to some super secret phone so we could call home. Boy, y'all don't know the struggle. But I, but I gotta say this, and people think I'm crazy about this. Sometimes it was easier being in the military when you didn't have no cell phone. When you could roll, when we rolled down to Panama, hell, I mean, I think I talked to everybody maybe once or twice. You know, so it's kind of easier to go in those places without having mama calling you every three days. You were pretty much there just play Army. When you got done playing Army, you went home. I swear, I think it's harder on Joe to get some distracted. I didn't, I didn't have anything to do but drink beer with Leibach and uh, have a good time. So, I don't know, maybe it's rougher. Y'all tell me what you think. What's up, Will? Good to leave me, Charlie. What's up there, Sergeant Major Han? What's up, Jesse? All right, Ganey, I got you. I was just curious about where you were living. Land of Georgia. I got quite a few people down in Land of Georgia. So y'all so y'all agree with, let's see. Oh, yeah, government shutdown. Let's talk about that a little bit. Only country in the world where a bunch of politicians can sit on their ass in their fancy suits and not do shit and then decide the people out there humble the rug don't get paid. Boy, this right here is going to get me all worked up right before I'm trying to go to bed. I'm just saying so much of bullshit. At least my boys got paid. I talked to some of the guys down in Louisiana who actually had to drill in the National Guard this weekend. They sent them on out about their business with a promise. Oh, you'll get paid at one point, which they will. Still kind of sucks. Yeah, I hate taking those. How you can have a, how you can have a cell phone with basic training? It must be outside your damn mind. Good Lord. I mean, we got Wayne here from Indiana. Oh, dude, we got our top first sergeant Tom Thornton on here. I'm telling you. Boy, this is a star-studded cast. Tom's way up north, snowed in some motel room, just shut down a quarter of a pig. What's up there, Junior? It's, uh, Rawls. Rawls knows what I'm talking about down there in Panama. He was, he's, you know what? Before I met Rawls, I was a fine, outstanding young man. Didn't do anything wrong, too much. Pretty much a good person. Here comes Rawls. All of a sudden, I'm dabbling in alcoholism, doing risky things. I don't know, Rawls. Maybe I should try and claim compensation for just being in the same unit as you. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's up there, Babu? Dude, there's Tony up at 82nd. What's up, partner? How's everybody doing up there? Been raining, so you better have been training. And I gotta get up there and see y'all. When I get this stuff squared away, I'm gonna get up there. Now, hopefully, I get to go down there to Mississippi. If so, that's gonna be a good test run. I'm curious to see. You know, I'd like to go down there and see all them boys before they head on overseas. So I gotta. So you know, I gotta try and get all my stuff done. My um, get them comic books out there and get some new stickers and stuff so I can hand them out to you. Recruiting duty in Florida. Rodriguez, my partner. Sounds good. What are you doing down there? How are you recruiting them? With a fishing line? Jorge went down there with a fishing line, put a bunch of promises on a hook, and threw it into a football stadium on a Friday night. Caught four or five Joes like that. Little simple Joes. Got all excited about it. Put a couple pretty girls' pictures on that hook and brought them right in. I'll tell you what you need to be fishing for. Here's this, you know what I was, okay, so here's what recruiting needs. I've been, I've been thinking about this. What does a recruiter really want? Let's be honest. He wants somebody with a eh, not too good home life who really wants, but has got a lot of motivation and wants to do something better. 
He can run. He's in good shape. Preferably a wrestler, a football player, something like that. Track would be nice. Good threshold of pain. That's why I like the wrestlers. You know, good threshold of pain, but it's a football. You usually end up being a pretty good soldier. All right, so you got all that. Got to at least have decent grades. You ain't got to be a genius, but you at least got to be trainable. And preferably you ain't got no honey that you already got pregnant at 17 years old. You, know, you need to save that stuff till later. You can get out there and seize the world. Be a hammer for a while. And that's what y'all recruiters need to find. Now, I know it ain't easy. It ain't easy, but I'm telling you, some of them, the states that got tuition exemption, if y'all watching this and you a young Joe and you're considering joining the military, you're in a state that has tuition exemption and you don't join? Well, you too simple then. That's the best deal going. Got my college degree like that. Y'all need track on that. All right. Let's see, sorry. Uh, let's see if I check this out. Got my little guy set up. So I'm going to take a piss. Be right back. Tiny little bladder when you get older. This happens. You'll see. Be getting up all, all, all kinds of time at night. Who else we got out there? Let's see how many people we got on here. We got 32 people on here. Who else is out there? Give me the weather. Hey, Thornton, what's it like up there? Some snow up there? Minneapolis. You up there near T-Buster. Oh, check it out. Come on, y'all. Give me a good topic of conversation. Hey, what do y'all think if I design a good man court setup? All right, so basically, if I designed a good man court setup, and I and that way you could call in and say your buddies have screwed you over, and you could take them to man court, would you be willing? Oh, well, oh, sorry, folks, my stuff wasn't pushing down. Hold on, I got a lot, a lot of stuff. What's happening now? What's up there, Virginia? What's up, Ashby? Uh-oh, 315 Scalpatoon. What's up, Hulk? My boy's down there at a third at a 156. What's up, Fort Rucker? So I'm bad on on here. What's up, partner? All right, let's see. Bad on's at... Whoa, 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 whoa! Delta Company Platoon Sergeant. M Slick in 10 days. Bad on, you need to write me a message offline and find out what's going on with you. I didn't know all that was happening. Make Rock McDagle's on here. Let's see. Just about on, let's see. Oh, yeah, you know Thornton. Okay, let me tell y'all an awesome story. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, we had man court in a mortar platoon. Huh? And what happened was, at one point, this Chris Sawatsky, I don't know if you're on here right now, but uh, Sawatsky took charges against Thornton for cock blocking him in a bar where Sawatsky thought he was going to hook up with this chick, right? So we bring it up to court, all the way up to the Supreme Court. Sawatsky's pleading his case, and it ain't looking good for Thornton. It ain't looking good at all. I mean, a buddy doesn't do that to another buddy, right? Thornton, in a move that will go down in legend, countersued Sawatsky, saying that he could not bring anyone to man court unless he could prove he's a man. And Sawatsky's like, well, that's ridiculous. Of course I'm a man. Look at me right here. And Thornton, with grace and calm demeanor, said, Your Honor, Asked Sawatsky if he was arrested in a gay bar in the last two weeks. A hush fell over the courtroom. Everybody looked around at Sawatsky, whose face had turned red. Why? Because Sawatsky had been arrested in a gay bar a couple weeks ago. Now, I think he was in a bar fight or something. I don't know what he was doing in there. But the bottom line is, the place erupted. The, the judge threw it out and... Th Thornton won. They carried him out on his shoulders. Went down to history. If you ever go to man court law school, you'll have to read about it. Probably do your dissertation on it. It's a magnificent moment. All right, let's see what we got else we got on here. Oh, Keith wanted to know PCS and the Fort Campbell. We got anybody on here that can talk to him about what's up at Campbell? I hope you're comfortable on a rope, partner. But <laughs> Thornton touched me when I was a corporal. Well, I don't know. Y'all worked that off offline, huh? All right, we got a pretty good amount of people on here. Let's see. I think it's easier at night. You got more people. Can y'all, okay, let me ask y'all a question and answer me by writing it down there. Can you share this? Is there a share option when you have it? 
Talk for me, because i got to keep scrolling down. What's happening, Vincent? How you doing, buddy? You just missed the... You need to go back and watch this recording of one of the greatest moments in man court history. The funny thing is, I didn't even make it up. Yeah, if you're going to Campbell, you better be comfortable on the rope. Don't have a big, beautiful head of hair, you get caught in a prop. Speaking of, did y'all see that picture that um, Sergeant Miller sent me from back in the day when I was a little young Joe? Oh, a little skinny Joe trying to mack on the ladies. Looks like I'm wearing that ghillie suit. It was really Sergeant Miller's ghillie suit, to be honest with you. And they made me, you didn't see the part where they made me get in a cage with a bear. That was good times. You have got to be kidding me. There is somebody on here with the name Peace on Ridge Werewolf. Holy shit. I heard about y'all. Many a person thought they saw a werewolf up on Peace on Ridge. I'm dying to know who is the Peace on Ridge Werewolf. That's awesome. Awesome. Okay, cool. Appreciate that, Wise. All right, all right, all right. Hey, if you get up, don't bring anything. Wayne says don't bring anything. He must be talking about uh, going to Fort Campbell. Um, uh, Kirby wants to know what's my opinion on Burgall's verdict and what you would do about it if, if you had it. Well, I can't imagine anybody on here thinking that dude getting off has anything good. I, quite honestly, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. That dude walked off his post, put other Joe's lives in danger. Whether they were killed directly or indirectly from his actions, he put other guys in danger. That dude needs to fry. That's just my opinion. So, and I, I would absolutely love even my old ass to run into my bar. That dude, somebody needs to split that dude's wig. And I hear in the background, oh, you shouldn't be, a, a, you know, a proponent of violence, dude. That dude needs his wig split. So if you see him, that's a little top directive. Split it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, bad on. I know y'all a bunch of people out there crying because they had to do drill. I'm sure they were. Diggle talking about I don't have a hair problem. I don't have a hair problem because I had a beautiful set of hair. Got caught in a shit hook. Ripped it right off. Actually, that's not true because if you go look at the, um, if you go look at the backstory a little top, I didn't have hair even as a little man. But shit and true, that's just a cartoon, but it makes for a funny cartoon. Have I ever been to Campbell Top? Uh, no, honestly, no. I haven't been to Campbell. I went to air assault school at Fort Hood. So, but I know we got some people on here that have been at Campbell. I got quite a few followers up there. What's up, Sanchez? Thanks for tuning in. Zero two. Good Lord. Good Lord, buddy. Well, thanks for tuning in, man. I know I got to do more of these lies. I like just sitting here and bullshit with y'all. Oh, how to survive Fort Polk at JRTC. Let me tell you something. JRTC, nothing nice. And I actually got an inside line there with Captain Said. I've been wanting to do a video on how to survive JRTC and another video on how to survive NTC. Two different animals. Two different whole schools of thought. All right? So maybe we'll get on top of that. Battle says he had the wounded vets at the Duck Lease this weekend. How'd that go? They have a good time? Hope they did. That's a good thing y'all doing down there, buddy. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, I saw she man is running for office. <laughs> you, you got God. That's America. That's America when you can be she man and run for office. What's up, Phipps? It's second of five a second. What's up, buddy? Shut up, Dago. You didn't go to basic at Campbell. You're starting shit. A nice public hanging. You know what? That dude girl thing ain't gonna win a seat in Congress. I'm gonna tell you right now. Let's see. 72 hour pass. That shutdown's ridiculous. Whole thing pisses me off. What about letting Joes have beers? See, here's the problem with Joe. It's like you can't do nice shit for Joe. I love it when Joe talks about all the hard stuff. You know, oh, God, it's so hard. You don't even know what we deal with. If you let Joe have a beer, Joe's going to blow it. You ever seen Joe try and grow a mustache? He jacks it up every time. See me? This head right here is the perfect specimen of a military male. Ain't a hair on it except for my eyebrows. You can grow all the hair you want down my back and crack. That's how you do it. I like the beards. The problem with the beards is everybody grows a beard in the severe world thinks they're an operator or, or on Sons of, of Anarchy. I mean, that's pretty much how it is. 
There's more fa facial hair floating around America they ain't never seen in my life. Everybody's warm this winter. Let's see, John, what's up, buddy? Let's see. Look at this tail coming to bat. Some bat on said this tail out there crying in the rain. Would you shoot, this tail? Ruggaroo. Why they call you Ruggaroo? I, well, I don't know. This is a rated PG thing. Whoa, whoa, St. Mary's. St. Mary's on here. What's up, buddy? Steve Daigle, you did not go to basic training to Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Campbell did do a lot of time. Yeah, but where's like, who else was over there? There was like Sean Grimes and, I mean, there's a lot of people over there now. Limey, are you living over near Fort Campbell? Or is that offset? When I got out of the army, I used my GI Bill, Vincent. Yeah, what I did was I used my original GI Bill and went to college on it and successfully finished. Took a while, but finished. And then my post-9-11 GI Bill, I gave to my little man. And we got three years of his college paid for there. So, uh, yeah, I, I used every single cent of my education benefits. And I, along with the tuition exemption in Louisiana Guard. That's why, if y'all not ready to go active duty, not, that ain't for everybody. Some of you boys do going to the Guard ain't a bad thing. Especially if they're going to cover your tuition. You need to come out of an education. I see a lot of Joes go overseas, come all back, all proud of themselves, fart and dust, got, got patches on both sides of uniform, and they don't use the damn benefits. And let me tell you something, eventually the high wears off after deployment. Y'all need to go get your education. What's up, 504th? Let's see, what else going on? Sorry, I'm catching up on all these. Yeah, I'm afraid Joe will blow it. M16 versus M4. I mean, it's been a long time since I shot an M16. Um... And I'm not talking shit here, but I've always been a pretty good shot. I would I would say it kind of, you know, when we were shooting M16s, we didn't have no fancy optics. We were shooting them in bitches like iron sights, like men. So, uh, I, you know what? You get an optic and you shoot an M4, uh, I think, it's, you know, it's a pretty good weapon. It helps out. Tom Thornton talking about it took, it took me 16 years to get a degree. Listen to this dude. Tom took two semesters and left college to get that good paying job. Eight dollars an hour, living high on the hog. Yep. Then he gave all his education benefits away to anybody that asked him. Hey, Junior, can I have some of them education benefits? Let's see what else. I don't know if I can believe you about you going to basic training in 89, Dale. I think you're full of shit. What was your MOS? And don't even say no 11 Bravo. You know you're 11 Bravo because you should have been lurks. I'm <coughs> getting a basic training. Battles back, Lieutenant Amon. Lieutenant Amon's a good man. No, Sargani, I didn't go to, um, like, okay, if y'all if y'all really want to know about the air assault school, I got my first air assault slot right after I got back from range school. If y'all didn't know, got pneumonia when I was in range school, got medically dra dropped. That's why I got a tab. Sorry about that. Gave it a go. When I got back, I was in pulmonary rehab when I got my air assault slot and turned it down. And that's when they told me, CO told me that if I couldn't go to that school, then I couldn't stay on the LURS team. Mm -hmm. So he would let me go to any unit down the road or I could go to the arms room for six months so I got my shit together. So I went to the arms room for six months, got my shit together, and then later on went to air assault school, but I went by myself. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah, there were a whole bunch of y'all. I remember when all y'all went. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Waterboarded at JRTC. <laughs> hey, man, LRSD was the best of time, boys. <coughs> see, I don't know that I can trust Daigle. Let me tell you about Steve Daigle. See the one with the thing with the, the dog on there? Daigle didn't ever buy soap. You know why he didn't need soap in the barracks? Because he'd just come down to my door and just knock on the door all naked and shit. And be like, yo, can you got any bear? You got any uh, soap? And of course I'd give it to him because I'm a friend like that. But trust me, I've seen more naked Daigle than anybody really deserves to. That's all I'm saying. 
Alright, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa! Break, break, break! Little battle number two? Holy shit, congratulations, buddy! I did not know. Have you put that out on Facebook yet? If not, you just fucked up. That's all I'm saying. There you go. Hendrix had 100% tuition in the Garden of Florida. Good stuff. Congratulations, Bad Arm. 187 Rock Assam. Hey, Campos, hang in there. But look, if you're two days out, you can smell the barn now. You're getting close. So just hold what you got, all right? You'll finish it up. Let's see. Let's see. What's up, Robert? Thank you for your service, buddy. Blanchard's on here. Fort Campbell Basic. That's what I'm saying. I don't believe him. I think he's full of shit. Thanks, aboard. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. No, I ain't betting you $10, Daigle. I don't trust you. Let's see. Talking about education, my battalion offers a college class once a week during work hours. Hey, let me tell you something. If you're on active duty and you, you need to hop on every college class you can get, because if not, you're going to get out of college and you, and you go to school and you're going to have to go through all those first English classes and all that kind of stuff. You don't want to do that shit unless you're chasing honeys or something. I'm telling you, you want to be as far into that as you can go. Plus, what you don't know is, is that if you're a freshman or a sophomore, you got to park in the shitty parking all the way across. You want to park in that up front close junior senior parking. Dead <laughs> Daigle's just on here fucking me. I did not say hair assault school. Campos, you let me know when you get them wings. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to bury that shit in your chest. You're going to be bleeding. I don't fall under UCMJ anymore, just a little FYI. But, yeah, you let me know if you if you get it, man. I'll give you a shout-out online, hook. I went to jump school a long, long time ago. LRSD was the best time. He <laughs> didn't want to know that much information about Daigle. Oh, I'm sure Daigle is a fine field mattress. It's just not cool when he enjoys it so much. But on, I don't know when I'm getting back down to Louisiana. I want to get there soon. I know I may be going to Camp Shelby here probably in a couple weeks. Um, they got some guys down there moving up, getting ready to roll. I'm going to go down there and see them in person. <laughs> Eric, hang in there, buddy. You'll catch up. How's it going, Lisa? How are you? Hold on, let's see this. Tom Kirby says, I had a soldier tell me that he got corrected by an NCO over some small shit last week. He got wrapped around the axle and said he shouldn't have been talked to like that. Oh, come on. If you are still in uniform, you saw my video. If you say things like you can't talk to me like that, you got a problem. He's lucky he didn't get hemmed up physically. Put Han or, Han or Thornton on that ass. It's ridiculous. What's up, Bravo Company? Third of the 156? Man, we got a lot of people on here. What's up, Robert? Oh, yeah, we got a lot. Of, man, we have a regular family reunion on this bitch. Hey, all right, let me give you a shout out for a couple things. All y'all on here, if you have not went to YouTube and subscribed to my damn YouTube page, and I know some of y'all hadn't, please do it for me. It helps me out a little bit. I get more regular views and it helps me out. All right, and every little bit you can help me out, the more I can do stuff like this. Hook. Um, if you got any, um, and I've got, man, I got a ton of content I wanted to go. The big thing that's killing me right now is I just, it's just time, folks, time. I put in a request, 4187, request a 48-hour day. Then the government shut down, so I don't even know if they pushed it through. But I need a good 48-hour day right now, just so I can catch up. All right. Yep, a lot, of, a lot of colleges do have veteran centers, so make sure you go check them out because they'll line up. You're going to have to line up your GI Bill and line up all your stuff like that, so go talk to them. They'll help you out. Rocket Song, Kemper, what's up, buddy? Hey, Ivan, straight to thank you, man. I sincerely appreciate y'all doing that. Oh, and also, um, I went through all the stuff. I see the kind of um, different things you want, and one of the ones everybody said they wanted was a comic book. So what I'm doing is, is I'm going through... And I'm taking the videos that I've already done and making them comic book. And all it's going to be, just so you all know, it's going to be 50 comics. 
I'm going to print 50 of them. But in every comma, it's going to have my signature, and it's going to have Du Milligan, the EOD Tech's autograph, hand signed. All right, so when I get them, I'll put them up for sale. 50 bucks, you'll be able to, oh, not 50 bucks, good Lord. They're going to be, they're probably honestly going to be a little less than 10 bucks, and that's because i got to print them and then ship it. So I know it's, it's a whole lot more than a normal comic, but if you are a fan and you want them, that money can turn back around and to get me better equipment, we can do some more of this because I want to set my whole basement up here where I can maybe do this a couple nights a week, come bullshit with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Maybe sit down, grab a beer, watch a movie or something, just chilling. So, um... Make sure that, uh, hold on, I'm going down. So, make sure if you want a comic, make sure you let me know. And I will see if I can get one to you. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying, I'm sitting here looking at this, trying to catch up. Hey, Top, what year did you go? September 86. Uh, what year did I go? What, to airborne school? Or what? Where did I go? Basic training? I went to basic training in 1988. Left in October 88. Let's see, let's see. All right, Vincent. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, Matt, thank you for subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <clears throat> trying to think what else I got going on. Oh, we're also, I'm looking at putting together each one of the little top characters having a collectible card set. So, remember when you were little kids, you loved them, you know, your baseball and football cards and shit? We're going to have some little top cards. So, why's my neck like that? Hold on. We can have some little top cards so you can collect them all. Now, you won't be able to get them all online, though. Honestly, I'm going to keep a couple really cool ones for the live events I'm going to start going to. You show up at a live event, I'll give you some of the really cool ones. So, that's another thing we're trying to do. So, I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff together so I can pack it up in my truck and come see some of y'all. I know I talked to my boys up the other day, 82nd. I want to get there, going down to Mississippi and more. Peter Campos was born in 88. Uh-oh. Your mama's not a pretty little Panamanian girl, is she? If so, tell her I'm sorry. I was kind of an ass. Let's see. Yeah, just so you know, I've never done... The, the comic book is going to be ripped straight off the videos, so I am going to put one original that's not a video in there so you have something, but... That's what's up. Hopefully you'll like them. If nothing else, it'll be a funny thing just to keep. All right, folks. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Man, that was a good half hour. Um, it's good to see everybody. I apologize I've been gone so long. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording on this, and I'm going to push it over to YouTube, too. So go check it out on YouTube. All the positive comments you can help me with on YouTube really helps me out a lot. I appreciate that. If you're feeling crazy generous... Um, I'm putting together the Patreon page, and it's going to be the Little Top Army. And I've set it up where it's like a company size element. So if you want to just be a rifleman and you want to you know, contribute, I forget what it is. It's like $5 a month to Little Top Army. It'll draft it out of your check or draft it off your PayPal or whatever. And I will send you a certificate making you an honorary rifleman in Little Top's Army. And then you pay a little bit more if you want to be a sergeant, a little bit more squad leader, a little bit more, toon sergeant, and I, that's as far as I got. So there's only a limited amount of stuff. I just started putting it together. I don't know if anybody will really want to do that, but <laughs> Campos, Daddy, is that you? Let me know, buddy. Ain't got much money left, but I'll send you something nice for Christmas. Daigle, you did not go to basic training at Fort Campbell in 1988. All right, gentlemen, good night. Have a good night. I appreciate all y'all's service. Be safe. And I'll talk to y'all for the weekend starts. We'll have a good safety briefing. Y'all got any questions? All right, little top out.